Alright, hey, what's up guys? This is Freakish. I'm going to teach you how to make a real quick WinSock multi-connection server. So, right click here, go into your components. You want to press M on your keyboard and scroll down to where it says Microsoft WinSock Control 6.0 or whatever point oh. So, apply, click what okay wow okay I hit the space bar press apply click close double click this it'll go to the center of your form select it go ahead and set the index to zero change the name to WSK server double click on it no skip that part let's go ahead and just make a variable dim socket number as an integer okay there we go we got it double click the form WSK server 0 dot local port Wh what do you want it to be oh okay how, how about we just do 2525 that sounds good to me um let's go ahead and listen there we go now now our server will listen double click your object go to connection request you want to increase the variable to 1 and then to one after that do and just keep increasing the variable so now that we have it set up like this now we want to go ahead and load up a new index so put this right here and then accept request ID so we got that set up Let's make a list box so that we know who's all connecting to our server. So, put that right there. We want to pull that out here so we can still see it. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and change this to LST users. Add item. The list. We want to add the variable. And then, and just connected from and then we want to add in the remote host IP so remote host IP so it looks like that so let's go ahead and try it out now. okay so one connected so now we have multiple people connecting to the server at one time so how long is this right now Okay, it's only 2 minutes and 40 whatever seconds. So now to properly close the connection, it's as simple as doing this. Go ahead and take the index of the user and close that. And then we also want to tell which user just closed. So let's go ahead and take this add item thing. just disconnected. Okay, so we have this up here. Okay, so now let's close number one, which is this one. Okay, that didn't work out that cool. Um, just, just chill two seconds. We got this, guys. At least I think we got this. I'm not too positive. I think this will fix it. So, let's close number one right here. Number one just connected. Let's close number three. This is this one. Three just connected. Okay. What about number four? Yeah, it's it's gonna work. Yes. Good, good job, guys. We got this. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's correct. Now we want to have it so that they can send some stuff. So data arrival. Let's create a new variable. Dim. I don't know. String data as a string. Okay. So then let's go ahead and do VSK server index not get data and then let's um the variable string data vb string okay so now when they send stuff then let's just go ahead and message box string data so let's say number one connects to us and they send a it'll message box a and then let's say they send like b and then it does that and then let's do one so now, um, this will be fixed if all it does is it sends it each time they press enter or they press a go button, whatever. It doesn't matter. 
you guys get the point. This is a basic multi-connection Winstock server. Really simple. Um, I'll go ahead and depaste.com the source code. Peace. See you guys. I love you. Goodbye.